spawn into a brand new world and you give me birch. What did I do to you? Hello and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. I'm Doom Mountain and we are starting our, well, our forever home. You see, I play a lot of hardcore Minecraft, which means, you know, if you die, that's it. The world is over. And I'm not going to lie, I, I love that whole, you know, the risk sort of payoff system there with that. But I do kind of just want a world that... I don't have to be worried about doing things, so like in our hardcore world, we haven't even gone down to the deep dark and fought the warden. These new trials have come out, so of course I want to go jump into them, but in a hardcore world I get a little too scared. So I've decided to uh, create a brand new world, a completely vanilla, you know, survival world that you know, just got to build up, just go over the years, see how it goes, you know, we're starting off here in a birch forest. Not gonna lie, not my favorite biome. Would have preferred spruce, but here we are in a brand new world. And uh, instead of just talking too much and then losing sunlight and it becomes night and just like every other world I've ever had, I never get it. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's you having those little pop-ups come up for me. So this is Minecraft on the Bedrock Edition. I'm playing on Xbox X, whatever the new gen one is. So they always confuse me with their damn names. But um, so I don't normally have those little pop-up things. You usually see them with Java, but that's something that took me off guard. Um, Mr. Pig, I'm sorry, but I do need food. Would you just die? Oh, this is where I miss burrito already. Okay, so, new world. I don't have anything. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I, oh, does this mean that it'll actually also pop up when we get achievements unlocked? Oh, I really hope so. Okay, cool. I want a stone pickaxe. Wow, this is amazing. For like, probably almost everyone, these little pop-ups are probably pretty normal. And here I am, starting my new world, thinking, okay, what's some cool stuff that we can get into, new biome, you know, try all these new things. Oh my God, we get pop-ups. That's what's interesting me the most so far. <laughs> all right, let's collect up some dirt. Uh, no, well, we probably should get dirt as well, but let's collect up some stone. Oh, that's cool, see them all flick through the recipes. I have just realized though, that this does mean I'm gonna actually have to remember how to make things. Great. Um, let's not worry about that right now. Let me just collect up some uh, cobblestone so we can get some proper tools being made. Sweet. Okay, so a furnace. Let's just think of it this way. Because I wanna cook that up. Um, hey buddy, you're gonna provide me with a bit more food. Have you seen any sheep around though? Because some good, I've got that there, I've got five. Let's try and see if I can get eight bits so we can cook up a full amount with our one charcoal. A oh, one off? I'm not looking for another pig just for one. Just want to collect up some dirt while our pork is cooking. Because dirt is an easy block I can use to stack up and build with. <gasps> Coal, yes! Let's grab this. So, while I'm just casually grabbing a few of the early game resources, let's talk about some of this stuff that I want to do on this uh, Let's Play for Minecraft. So, I do want it to be a lot more of just a chill experience, you know? This is somewhere where we can jump on and just sort of... The world is being created up, and we're going at a nice, easy pace that anyone watching this sort of videos here that may come from the future from this world, they can just sort of feel like as soon as they watch it go, I could do that. And then jump in their own world and just go ahead and do it. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I really do love watching those great big builds being built up, you know, watching YouTubers just go from, I'm going to now terraform this entire village into this whole other thing. And you get it all done in one episode and it's really, really cool. However though, I, um, I do this for fun. Um, so 
the amount of time I can spend on here. I could never build up something that cool in one episode and have it in a reasonable time. I could, but you know, that'd be like a six month break and I don't want to do that. So what I want to do here is just go back to like a bit more of a, a chilled old school let's play. You know, where we jump on the world, we do a few things together and you know, it's a nice bit more of an easier pace. There's no big rush to get huge things done in such small chunks of time. You know, of course, we're, we're going to go for like mega bases, big builds and everything like that because I love building in Minecraft. But it's going to be a bit more of a slow pace. So, thank you. I was waiting for that to go. Um, so, if you are, are new to the channel, be, again, hello, I am Doom Mountain. Um, and I've been spending most of my time, you know, my main series at the moment on the channel has been my hardcore uh, Minecraft series, which, yes, on bedrock, so I have been using um, an add-on by made by Foxy Notal to allow hardcore on bedrock. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing that you know it's actually going to come to uh, the bedrock soon. So very happy, but just not yet at the moment. Now, wow, you completely forgot what you were talking about. You went, oh, that's right. So if you've watched some of those, uh, so if you're new here and haven't watched those sort of stuff, that's what I've been doing at the moment. And that's what I want a bit of a break from, you know, a world where I can mess up and die and it's not the end of it. But um, during those more recent episodes, I've kind of been experiencing or experimenting with a bit more of a different structure for my videos. So that way it's, um. We gotta find a sheep. So that way it's a bit more, you know, a casual-ish, but there's still work being done. And I think a good example of that at the moment is our uh, tree nursery. And, you know, it's been a bit of a slower progress being building that up. Haha, <laughs> 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 gotchas. But at the same time, I've been enjoying it and it's been getting some really good feedback. So I kind of just want to do that with you guys. So we come on, I hit record, and you know, we might spend no more than say two days to record an episode so that way we can get a bit more consistency out there with you guys but also we can keep this world fresh and everyone up to date and where is that so uh no i've done it again i did not get a bed please sheep oh <gasps> a dog i don't have any bones though all right well I guess um, maybe it's not a bad thing that we're going to stay up for the night. It's not like you really gave yourself a choice. Is that a village? Uh. No, it's just a sheep! Guarded by a drowned with a trident. Oh, what's the odds that that one sheep will give me? No, nope, there's already a creeper over there. Wow. Well. This, this is going to be dangerous. I should probably make some torches now too. Let me jump back up on my tree. Make some torches. Should we get to a bit more of a clearing? I mean, it's so hard to tell. I'll tell you what, let's just slowly venture. I mean, we're not too far from spawn yet, so if we do accidentally get killed, um, we don't have far to go. If there's a cow up there, does it mean... <gasps> there's a sheep. No, that was a skeleton. That was a skeleton. I thought you were a brown wool sheep. <laughs> okay, we're cool, right? You're not chasing me. Oh, there's a baby zombie. There's a witch. Why do I do this? Every single world, I forget to get a bed. Excuse me guys, I'm just going to run through here, maybe shed a bit of light as I'm going. And then the idea is, I can go away, they will despawn. Creeper, that was where I was going! Okay, at least I have food though, so you know, I'm not completely... Um, ...doomed. I'm going to try and leave a bit of a torch trail. 
just in case, you know, one day we decide, oh, I wouldn't mind coming back to the spawn area. And you left it without it too much. Oh, don't, oh, it's with, oh, creepers. Hey buddy, I wanna go get some pumpkins. Just in case I can't find them later on, I'll have them now. Three should be good, we can work with three. Maybe we should grab a sunflower too. Hey guys, oh geez. How's it looking behind me? Oh, okay, they stopped, they stopped. Ooh. Oh, village! Okay, we can get a bed and we can get safety. Yes! Alright, that's our priority now. Let's get up to that village. Uh-oh. Hello. Ah! Don't hit me! Oh, come on! Why is it between a river? Come on. Please say there's still an iron golem here doing his best to protect everyone. Ooh. Was it just me, or did it look closer than it is? Okay, we've got to eat. Please say nothing's chasing. Hi, creeper. Um, bye. Ow, my ankles. Hi, creeper. Don't worry about me. I'm just making... Oh, there's another one over there! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why have I got to climb a mountain? This village did not look that far away, I swear. I'm getting shot at. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Come on. Yeah. No. Ha, he missed. Uh-oh. I missed. Damn it. No. Where's my dirt? Just got to get up here and pray while we're not looking. Nothing's trying to jump down and... You know, scare us. Um, that would have been better off to go that way, this way, come on. By the time I get up here, it's going to be morning. Oh. Yes! We're in a village! <laughs> okay, okay. Hey! Where's the... No, 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 no. Wait, I didn't sleep in a bed, so I don't even have a spawn set up here. Ah! No, they took one of them! Look, I'm sorry, Nitwit. Let me sleep if you want to live. No, oh, I thought he left the door open for the zombies to come in, dude. You did! Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit the Nitwit! Ah! No! Oh... Oh, you all right, dude? I didn't mean to hit you. Why are you all decked out in gold fancy armor? Don't shoot at me. Ow! No. <laughs> no! I know I said I wanted to experience being able to die again in a world, but I didn't want to die like this. Oh, jeez, how did I run past that creeper? Could we get a music disc? Do it. Shoot again. Shoot the creeper. I don't want to fall backwards off this hill. No! <clears throat> Skeleton, you were gonna let him blow up on me! Uh, uh, come on. Uh, we just wanna we just wanted to try and get a music disc, okay? That's all I wanted. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, come on. Get you back over here. Oh, don't look at the enemy. Okay, there's the creeper. Now, I want you to be up there. Okay, now you make me a music disc. Whoa! You are a terrible, terrible shot. No, 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 no! Look what you did! All I wanted was a music disc, and you couldn't have aim! Why did you get armor if you've got no aim? Die!
I will wear your armor now. Hmph. Huh. Damn skeleton. Alright, now wasn't that a great way to start a new world? <laughs> Jeez, I've really got to start paying more attention and make that like a higher up priority uh, when I start a new world to actually try and get myself a bed before the end of the first night. Um, speaking of that, let's go and pick up a bed because I don't I don't want to stay in a village. I mean, villages are cool, yes. I wouldn't mind maybe being neighbouring with it, but I kind of, I don't want to fall in the trap of just transforming a village to make it my own. Maybe I'll transfer a village, transform a village because we're going to make it into some sort of, I don't know, trading post because, oh yeah, the villagers um, change what options they have for trading now depending on biome. So, you know, we might go up and set vill villages up for that sort of thing. But I would much rather um, have my own home. So, for now, let's just go and rob these guys and then be on our way. Does it sound like a plan? Do you guys even have anything to rob? Nope. Oh, look, nothing. Ooh, a blacksmith, you could get diamonds for me. Do you have a diamond for me? No. Where'd you go? Where, where'd... Hey, mate. I love you. Look at that. Three diamonds. <laughs> Three bits of obsidian. We got some iron and some bread. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, oh. That's perfect. Because usually... Well, do I just see... You are an idiot. That was your cape. Look at it. The 15 year anniversary of Minecraft. It's not a creeper. Oh, you are. So, hi again. I'm a mountain and I get distracted quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, three diamonds. Sweet. So that means I can make myself the pickaxe first up. And then get the enchanting tower. Oh, yes! We don't need to waste any diamonds. Oh, wait, we do. Damn it. I always forget the enchanting table needs a uh, diamond. Yes, Fisherman, you were si sitting in here listening to me get so excited, just waiting for me to realize. <laughs> Is he going to notice? Oh, damn it. I'm going to leave you with your station because you kind of helped me out, so. For now, I'm gonna continue trying to rob other places, but nobody's got anything. Okay, I'm gonna need more food in that soon, so let's start breaking down these hay bales. There seems to be absolutely no more chests in this village, so I'm going to take their food. <laughs> That's right, guys, you gathered this all up for me, didn't you? You knew I was coming, you knew today was the big day, starting up a new world. Remember how earlier I was so excited seeing all those things popping up on the screen? Not gonna lie, now I'm a bit over it. Ooh. Okay, so we've got a bit of a look at here. Oh, spruce. I wanna head that way. Earlier when the um when this new update dropped, I think it's the, the Tricky Trials. I was talking with people on my uh, Discord server and talking about different biomes you guys might want to start a new world in. I wanted to do Spruce, so if Spruce is over there, I think that's where we might leave. These guys are completely agreeing. They're like, yes, let this monster who's come in stealing all our stuff leave. We're happy for that. Yeah, well, you should be. You got nothing else here to offer me. Really? I can't believe it. This village had only the one chest. Sure, it gave me three diamonds. But, a little disappointing. Now, I just realized I didn't grab any birch saplings or oak. So let's grab them while we're over there. So that way we can at least, you know. <gasps> Ooh, and cherry wood over there. Oh, this doesn't look like a bad spot. 
You watch. I'm going to get over here and there'll be like three spruce trees and that's going to be it. Alright, let's collect up some of these saplings and then we'll keep moving on. Okay, well, uh, to be fair, I did think that the these ones were going to... That would have hurt. That would have hurt. Uh-oh. No! I'm sinking! Oh! Okay, powdered snow. Great. Do I want to even attempt trying to live here? I think all of this is powdered sn I don't want to risk walking on that. Why does that guy get a hat? This isn't going to be a good spruce biome. I'm calling it now. This is a nice sort of snowy peak. And I thought it's supposed to be goats, not sheep up here. Look at all these poppies. I should probably though still grab spruce. Yeah, I don't... Just because you don't like the powdered snow doesn't mean that you avoid the resource you want. Now, can I just get a sapling from this one on the edge? You reckon I can, sheep? I got two, okay. I would like two more, but I'm not going to be pushing for it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. We can use that. Let's continue on our exploration that away. Well, I mean, we may as well collect some cherry wood while we're here. So let's go over there and get that. Not so much the wood, but just the sapling. So if we need it, we've got it. Oh no, what? Beehives in the cherry? I didn't know that they could do that. Nice. That means now I've got to be extra careful not to swing my axe and hit a bee. Yay! There's quite a few bees over here. This is cool. Right, let's see if we can just attack this one and get some saplings from it. Should probably pick up some of them. I can at least bone meal it. Alright, I'm not sure about setting up home over here either. I do like just, you know, collecting up some of the other tree types while we can in case we can't find them later on. But, you know, I just don't feel like this is home. Am I the only one that's sort of this picky when you're starting up a world and wanting to find a place, you know? Or do you guys just sort of tend to go here's where I'm spawning so I'm going to start my house I don't know if I'm just a bit too picky I could be oh dude don't fall down there let's quickly put our bed down and sleep what? it's dark I can sleep <sighs> ok well, let's keep travelling further on a little bit and then we'll sleep <gasps> although oh ok look 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 I only have one bone Will you be my friend for one bone? You. <laughs> now there's a little island. But you see, we just did that whole... We were, in the hardcore world, our starter thing was the Cherrywood Isles on an island. So, should we do another little island build? I don't think so. Oh hey, I wonder if you would have taken one bone to be a friend. I guess we'll never know. Shut up, pig. I heard you laughing at me. Don't snicker. Yeah, you get out of my way. Jeez. Well, it seems as though if we go any further, we're going to go into ocean. Maybe that's what we need. Let's head down, make ourselves a boat. And let's go and explore the seas. Ah! Let's go and explore the seas. Oh, is that jungle? Okay, well, we've, before we go and explore the seas, we should probably grab some jungle saplings. Uh, let's just actually pick up some more wood. I've been walking past a whole heap of it. I probably should have picked it up. It's nice, free, easy wood because it's just on ground level. You don't need to move too much to, you know, collect it. Is it also dark oak, or am I just too far? Yeah, no, it's... wait. No, that's dark oak as well. Oh, you just said that you don't want a village transformation. This could be 
a nice spot though. It's even got a portal here for us to be able to work off of. Oh. What's in the chest? Oh, more obsidian and a an even better helmet. Um, yes. Just pick up that obsidian. I think I might go back on what I said. I mean, I really haven't done a, a proper village transformation as a base idea since Foxwood. And that was a spruce biome, but this one here... Yeah, okay, it's... It's borderline acacia and plains. But I, I don't know. This one, other the other village didn't really say, yeah, this would be a cool spot to possibly live. Even though that one guy gave me three diamonds, he was pretty chill. This one over here, just the way I was coming in from over there, seeing a bit of the shrubbery around here, I thought, if that wrapped around, like I had ideas for how this place could look. Oh, more bread, thank you. This, ooh, I think this could be it. Yeah, I know. I, I, I agree with you completely, villager. I think I'm gonna change my mind. And we're gonna do a village. I mean, you guys still don't have anything. Oh, don't get upset. I mean, it's a cool village. You don't even have a job. Don't get upset with me. I just don't know. I mean, we've got a portal here we could use. We've got villagers that we can trade with. I tell you what, let me sleep away the night and have a bit of a think on it, and we shall return. Thanks everyone who has been uh, tuning in so far though. I always wanted to throw that in. I'm not too sure how this is coming along, but this feels just like a genuine Minecraft Let's Play. <laughs> All right, so now that I have slept through this night and had a little bit of time to think, I'm still unsure if I want to live in a village. Like, I mean, I've now, I took a chance, you know, on that little bit of a night's sleep to actually go back and edit the footage that I've collected. And honestly, yes, I think this is coming along nicely for just a general let's play sort of feeling. But I still have no idea where I want to live. I've, I've made quite a few comments already, it's apparent, about villages and building them up and redoing them. And I, I, I just don't know if I want to do that. So what I've done is, over on my uh, Discord server and on the community tab thing on YouTube, I've put up a little bit of a poll to sort of see what you guys think, you know, if you think start uh, setting up a starter home in a village or, you know, should I find a certain biome or should I just look for the first spot that actually looks good? And um, I'm, I'm going to wait for your feedback from that before I actually decide where I'm going to set up, set up my home base and, you know, really kick off this world. So, with that said, and now an uncertainty of whether or not I'm actually going to make this my home or not, we should probably go ahead and grab the jungle and the dark oak uh, saplings. It was just across the river here that I got distracted from actually collecting because I saw the village. So, let's swim over there, grab up those, and then probably grab the acacia that's also there at the village, and then maybe wrap up this first episode. All right, sweet, I just saw it. I just got one sapling drop from this. So we're good for the jungle. I mean, having two is probably better, but at least we've got a chance of, you know, regrowing more with just at least one. Now, a smart person would probably fix their ax before going for some dark oak. I am not a smart person, so let's go and try and collect up this dark oak that's just over there. Uh, this is probably going to be our best bet. All right, with this one, we need four saplings just to be able to um, replant it. So I've got to get more than four because these ones are a little bit, a little bit more finicky to actually regrow. 
and there it goes. Okay, let's uh, let's plonk down the crafting table and make ourselves another one. I should have sticks. What am I missing? Oh, I'm just on everything. What tools? No, and I, <laughs> I almost made a pickaxe because I keep messing up its name. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's cut down the rest of this dark oak and see how many saplings we've got. I can see one over there. I pick one up off a tree. Oh, there's one there. Come on. Oh, I just need four. I mean, I'd rather more than four because as you can see, it took two trees to uh, collect four. Yes, I know, chicken. It's incredible. Dark oak looks very... Oh, yes. Yes, that looks promising. Okay. I'm not going to look until I get all this down. My inventory might be actually full. Yeah, it is chicken. Okay, how many did we get? Oh, yes, we got seven. Almost enough to do two. That's perfect. Um, to free up space, let's get rid of that. They're just flowers. I can regrow them back anywhere. Cool. Now I need to pick up my crafting table. And I think we should collect some bamboo just while we're on this side. So let's head on over there now and get some of that. All right. Oh! Hello! <laughs> A shipwreck! Oh, I'm glad I decided to go get some bamboo now. Alright, let's uh, have a quick sticky beak. Alright, so it's half a ship. Is there a treasure... What? Well, that boat may have been a bust, but we can still get some bamboo, which is, you know, the reason we came over here, so we don't need to be too glum. We only need a few bits, and I'm full. What can we get rid of? Um, tell you what, let's just get rid of that. Alright, cool. Got some bamboo now. We really shouldn't stray off from the village that I might want to set up home. But I can just have a quick sticky beak over here, can't I? Yeah. Oh, melons. I don't even have enough room for that. We gotta really start. We gotta find a spot to settle down. Okay, that just looks like a big savannah, so. That's a good thing because I don't want to go there. So it's not really enticing me to want to go and explore it. I mean, sure, we might go and try and find some armadillos so we can get dog armor and that sort of stuff. But that's just not quite cutting it for me. Yeah, that's not too interesting for me to... Ooh, gee, so many endermen. I've seen like five or six of them just walking around lately. It's incredible. All right, well, let's just head back to that, uh, to that village. Damn, parrot made me think there was a spider closer than there probably is. All right, go back to the village, and we might, we might call it there. All right, so I managed to safely make my way back to this village, which I don't know if it's going to be my starter home area yet. I haven't made up my mind. It could do, it might not. I'm, I'm really going to leave it up to the thoughts, you know, in the, the Discord server where people can put in their comment on that sort of post there and also for the uh, poll that I posted on the community chat in uh, over on YouTube where we're, you're probably watching this. So I would really like it if you guys could help us out and give us a bit of your thoughts. You know, you could even just leave a comment with going, not the village or yes, stay in the village. It's That'll answer it easily enough for me. Now with this all said and done, I think that it is time that we wrap up this first episode of the uh, Let's Play series here, and uh, yeah, I think I've managed just to have this as a nice, relaxing, you know, just play through. You know, it's literally like it says, it's a Let's Play of Minecraft. There's no real cutscenes that happen too much. You've really just come on this bit of a journey with me, and I hope you you guys like that sort of take. Now. 
this isn't going to be how every episode will be, you know, there will be parts where it's just like, okay, I want to build this, we'll go through and talk about it, and then we'll cut away while I do some resource gathering, which might become a live stream or something like that, and then we'll come back and we'll do the building and work through it and that sort of stuff. It's just not going to be like, okay, look at this spot here, and then we spin around and then there's a massive big tower or a big build or something. That's, that's not what I'm aiming for this, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that and enjoy that sort of content. So, for now though, thank you to everyone who has tuned into this episode and is hopefully looking forward to this, this new world. As I said, this is going to be our forever home. Like, it doesn't matter if I die in this, it's not hardcore. We will come back, so this world, really, unless it gets corrupted beyond any repair, I plan to stay in this world for a very, very long time. Still be doing the hardcore um, seasons and that sort of stuff, and even, you know, bringing in new series and that sort of thing, but this is just going to be the world that we'll always keep coming back to and having something being done into it. So with all that said, thank you to everyone who has tuned in and has watched up to this point, and until next time...